Yeah, very good morning to one and all present here. So today we are going to see switching characteristics of PN junction diode. Right? I'll ask you to listen. Before listening, you mean uh, you have to keep quiet, right? Before listening, what I mean? You mean you have to be quiet. So only then only can have a listenability. It is also an ability to concentrate. Okay, take the diagram and follow the thing. I'm sure I'll give you the details. Which is beyond the, which is beyond inside the material what I gave to you, and which is beyond the material what book process. Okay, take it down.
So switching characteristics of uh, PN junction diode. Okay. Okay, let's start, right? So before taking the graph, right, I'll give you a small idea about the graph what I draw it on the board. This is this first one shows the uh, voltage, right? It's a voltage graph, shows forward bias voltage. I'm sure it is more than one. Okay, the voltage change from, right? The forward bias change from reverse bias. Means changing from plus to minus. The second one says about the excess charge carrier distribution at the junction. Injected carrier distribution at the junction. Don't worry, I'll give the detailed explanation about this. I need at least a minimum half an hour to explain all the graphs on the board, right? So I like to request all of you, please listen. That's one thing I can request, right? Otherwise, uh, I don't know what to do, right? Fine. This is excess charge. Second one shows excess charge distribution. The third one shows because I have applied some voltage and I am sure that will induce some current, right? When I apply the voltage in a closed circuit, I will have an inducer of current. What do you mean by current? Rate of flow of charge carrier. When it flows, when it flows under closed circuit, under closed circuit, circuit is closed, start from plus to minus, right? I have not mentioned plus and minus because it is our concept. We are dealing ing, switching from plus to minus, right? So that's why I have not mentioned it, right? So you see this is the voltage, forward reverse voltage. Next one deals about the excess charge distribution. And because of the applied voltage, we know that forward current, reverse current. And because of the applied voltage, we also like to understand the internal barrier capacity. This is internal voltage, probably it is 0.7. And sometimes we call it the barrier potential. Okay. So what do you understand from see this uh, a graph? Let me explain. Let me start slowly from open circuit at PN junction. Okay. Be slowly, right? Okay. Fine. Now I'm going to draw a open circuit PN junction. So P and N. This is open circuit PN junction. Okay, exactly at the junction, exactly at the junction, I have to mention what I have to mention, mention about the charge carrier distribution, right? This about the concentration of the charge carrier. We know P and N in P holes is the majority carrier in N. Electron is my majority carrier. Electron is my majority carrier. This is under open circuit. Under open circuit, we understand majority carriers are opposite charges. They attract each other. And when they attract each other, the charge carriers will diffuse across the junction. So that causes a depletion region, which means P side losing its positive energy, so become a negative ion. N side losing negative energy become a positive ion. Otherwise, majority carriers are moving towards the junction. Right? So this is what is this exactly at the junction? Right? Let's say X. And the X is the away from the junction. Now I am here to understand how the charge carriers are distributed under open circuit. Under open circuit, I know the boundary conditions are where V equal to 0. The applied voltage equal to 0. But I am sure it has some 
some Kelvin temperature, right? It has some Kelvin temperature. I have not marked zero. I would say it is under room temperature. Under room temperature, the temperature itself I input. So it has it has some minority carrier distribution across the across the junction. So the minority carrier generally it is the N region. It is a P region. The minority carrier distribution I could call it as a small P N of O. So this is. minority carriers right and again the same thing replied in this side what this minority carrier small n small n p o so small p represent holes present in the end regions holes present in the end region of absolute temperature so it become minority Electron present because electron is my minority. Here electron is my minority. Okay, here electron is my minority. Whereas plus is my majority. Plus is minus is my majority. So big circle, small circle. Let you understand that. Under open circuit. Now under open circuit. Under open circuit, majority carrier distribution. I could mention capital mina n n n. We represent. Which represents what it represents? Majority carrier distribution. N suffix N. Okay. P suffix P. Again, majority carrier distribution under open circuit. You see, these two are constant, right? So there is no uh, there is no uh, change in uh, like exponentially charging or exponential nothing constant. So. P P represent the majority carry distribution. N N represent the majority carry distribution. P N O represent the minority carry distribution in the end region. N P O represent minority carry distribution in the in the P region. Now, let me talk about forward bias. Okay. Now, what is this concentration? Okay, this X junction. Okay, fine. Now, under forward bias, what happened under forward bias for the better understanding? Because my board is uh, limited, so I'll take P and N out. So understand, this is P, and this is N. Under forward bias, the positive voltage ripples the majority carrier this way. Again, okay? again, the negative voltage ripples the majority carrier. So I understand that which both the majority carriers try to ripple each other and moving towards. Now my diffusion region look like shrink down and shrink down got to zero when when applied voltage is greater than seven. Okay, my applied voltage is greater than seven. Okay, this is V external. Okay, V greater than 0.7. Then your uh, diffusion region is almost uh, narrowed down and becomes zero. Now I understand the point is that. This majority carrier cross the junction, and that will become a maximum distribution at this point. So maximum, right? So it starts, it start reducing, right? Start reducing. What is this? What is this? Plus here I could call it as a majority, and this plus become here become a minority, or it is call it as Excess, or it is called as excess. And what is this? This is P and O, small P and O, which is normally generated by thermal input. And sometimes we call it as drift current, D R I F T, drift current. Okay. So what is this small P and O? What is this small P N? Excess charge distribution in an exponential form. 
excess charge distribution in exponential form and that side same thing will be repeated this side look like this right what is this what is this excess electron distribution right here it is become majority and here it is become minority excess electron distribution this side so i would call it as electron so out i call excess electron so in a p region it is called np and what is this small n sorry yeah minor small n in p region of absolute temperature small n is the minority carrier in the p region at the absolute temperature the temperature become your room temperature you can ask me one question right away sir you said that excess charge you marked here little above whereas here you marked here little below that is the difference you might have noticed otherwise you are not keenly watching right fine so this is little higher than compared to this what is this normally i would say in the doping concentration it is not look like equal it is automatically done it is automatically by thermal or it is automatically done it is understood by the n type is little 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 higher doped compared to p type in ideal case what do i say both are equally doped but in practical case n type little highly doped so i mark in a higher concentration okay this is happen at the this is happen at at forward bias right so that happened at forward bias now now under reverse bias right under reverse bias right so under reverse bias let's say this is p and n so what we discuss here here we discuss forward bias the condition is that majority carriers are crossing the junction majority carriers are crossing the junction it is called forward bias here you understand everything everything is equally distributed because under no voltage condition under no voltage condition or under external voltage equal to zero you understand that the concentration of charge carrier across the region will be constant why constant because no external disturbances so you find this is majority carrier distribution poles present and this is minority carrier distribution electron present in the p region that is due to thermal this is poles present in the n region that is due to thermal minority carrier automatically happened as i mentioned right how minority carrier increase here end region having its own majority carrier again you find that there is little higher in end region now under reverse bias what is reverse bias this negative voltage attract the majority carrier and this positive voltage attract the majority carrier like this so you understand one point here the majority carriers moving towards and finally cross the junction whereas here moving away moving away which means it does not close the circuit which i'll try to say the depletion region keeps extending right it is moving away right moving away from right? now i'll represent right i represent here i talk about the majority carrier excess majority carrier crossing the junction while i am talking here majority carriers are not crossing then it is a waste of time discuss about what happened to majority they ran away they ran away from the class so i won't talk about the majority carrier because they are not inside the class they ran away then what should i do you remember this minus will try to attract some of the plus which is present here as a minority right this plus try to attract some of the minority which is present in the p region now the minority carriers are moving towards and crossing the junction and crossing the junctions 
and that i could represent like this so concentration of minority care whereas here concentration of majority care you see one thing here exactly at the junction exactly at the junction remember the word called zero exactly at the junction the minority care distribution at the junction is zero right exactly at the junction you find you find i find no person is standing in front of me this exactly say, look like a walking distance or something to look like a, a passage but i couldn't find any people where if i come here i find some people who are listening and if i come here i find some people who are listening so exactly at the junction zero distribution happened in the minority career but whereas exactly at this junction maximum let's say one maximum maximum majority cross career crossing the junction under forward bar under reverse bar zero minority carriers are crossing across the junction okay why it is exponentially exponentially right some bend right i couldn't draw bend like look like bend like curvature right exponentially so exponentially decreasing why because of the recombination see i would say there are 100 holes which crossing the junction 100 holes owing its own positivity when it crosses automatically the term comes under rc recombination okay and what about here what about here there is a minority carrier distribution at the junction is equal to zero but as i mentioned no it crossing the junction as time extended as time extended both the side p and n side denote the minority carrier presence and create some of the minority carrier what is minority carrier let's say what is minority carrier again i'll give you some idea right let's say this is electron let's say this is electron electron moving from left to right assume left to right with respect to you or with respect to me whatever left to right what happen after some time t equal to some 1 nanosecond okay 1 nanosecond here hole present here electron present now again electron is moving from here after time t equal to 2 nanosecond now the electron is here and holes come here which means the whole is the whole activity is purely depends upon the electron activity whole activity is purely depends on electron activity so the minority carrier is not something comes from the sky which is normally done with the help of movement of electron husband engala poravanga angala avanga manavi povanga illa look like to so, get the point just remember so electron is moving electron is repelling electron is attracting electron is stabilizing i'm sure at any cost at any cost the nature trying to get equilibrium condition trying to get every second every micro picosecond it get trying to get equilibrium which means trying to understand that even if you go and see the galaxy it got revolving and expanding it call it as brahma right expanding which means it moving look like a look like a look look like a i mean a uh mean uh, star look like right rotating not rotating revolving in exponential form so remember even you even in the under uh, the open circuit conditions so there is a uh, i'm say at constant but if it is not constant i'm sure even under open circuit there will be small changes activities taken care by this semiconductor which is not noticeable which normally ignored i'm not saying 100% zero current right but if you go in depth to the answer right so that's why i'm telling you the concentration of minority carrier keep on expanding again it is in the form of exponential now come to the graph now i want to start my graph you got the point what is open circuit what is you got the point what is open circuit constant what is forward bias majority carrier distribution or excess charge carrier distribution an exponential excess distribution exponential right on pde okay exponentially distributed majority whereas here under reverse bias minority carriers are exponentially distributing now my question 
my now my question is remember remember this is under open circuit no voltage remember this is steady state forward condition steady state this is open circuit already steady if i use steady state i am wrong is already so constant so constant under open circuit this is steady state forward balanced condition this is steady state reverse bias condition now come to my understand what i am trying to understand called switching ing call ing switching what ing says to you let's say i am applying a voltage positive voltage steady state positive for bias after some time i am reversing i am reversing the forward i am reversing forward into reverse nalla koorundu gavaninga ma my dear students there are three states remember this is state 1 number 1 what is that forward but steady state forward but steady steady state forward but this is i would say number 3 steady state reverse bias and what is two this is instantaneous instantaneous state now i'll repeat so this is the state of arc 1 right steady state right what is two you understand this become 2 and this become 3 see under forward bias i understand my junction is completely crowded it is look like a uh, some festival right look like completely crowd or saturday sunday at mall complete crowd this is holiday look like a corona holiday no one no one have a ability or no one have got to move away from the house all are happily live inside the home this look like weekdays right no majority only minority you got the point but one thing you might understand that you need the switching the switching need time switching need a time what time it needs some time to change from forward to zero zero to reverse i would say at time t equal to zero how much time taken at time t equal to zero it happens what happens 1 2 3 3 what happens 1 2 3. so that is called switching represents 1 2 3 what is 1 2 3 this one at steady state forward bias to changing 3 you see this happen at 0 second this happen at like this like this but remember what is this what is this what is this? that is what my topic starts here i am starting switching characteristics of before going to this 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 i should realize these components in my mind then i could understand what is exactly happening inside the diode while switching from forward via to zero potential then to reverse by positive zero reverse okay positive v positive v zero v and reverse like this okay so what is this three changes plus voltage exactly zero and this is negative voltage where it changes that's why i told you i didn't mark here i didn't mark here right so what the changes plus zero minus what is here minus zero plus forward zero reverse so during forward bias there is a current steady state high current now come to the point of understanding some be governing yes listen my dear 
so under forward bias condition you might have understand that there is a steady state current steady state current milli ampere current flows so forget about milli micro nano forget completely forget but i understand steady state current the current is flowing then first point you try to understand what is forward bias what is reverse bias right under forward bias i'll draw the equivalent circuit here under forward bias under forward bias under forward bias right under forward bias it is look like a closed switch under forward bias diode upper closed switch which means id is speaking r equal to 0 practically speaking r equal to low resistance offered by the diode is low very low so it offer maximum current according to ohm's law v equal to ir you got the point it is closed circuit why it is closed because barrier potential can't sink down and make it to zero because of the applied external voltage when it happened when this happened when external voltage far far greater than mean far far greater than the barrier potential what is far far greater than this value equal to 0.7 i am sure it is value more than one that will become far far greater which will try to nullify or mean or remove the barriers it removes the barrier then what happened closer maximum okay well. now what is reverse bias what i understand reverse bias resistor and diode act as open circuit and what is the current through the diode what is the current through the diode is zero and practically i would say sorry ideally i would say it's a infinity practically i would say high value practically i would say high value infinity got the point where it is zero whereas here the current equal to maximum so got the point so got the point yes so you see you see what should actually happen what should actually happen if i'm changing from forward voltage to reverse voltage what was done this was done what was mean maximum current to but what happened here see see the graph and tell me the answer see the third graph right this is 1 2 3 find the third graph what has happened here or what is here see and tell it's a maximum current in forward bias in forward bias it is equal to 1 in forward bias it is equal to 1 at the same time reverse bias also causes some maximum current that is equal to minus ir equal to minus vr divided by r only thing the direction of the current trying to change but it is not changing the same amount of current is represented by reverse bias you know or simple concept solre ami so fine up okay said better see he is switched off the fan he is switched off yeah he is switched off the fan you find <laughs> i'm sorry come on the fan is put on example solan but the critical condition put on the ella the on ban what i'm trying to answer you when i switch off the fan it takes some time to relax right when i switch off the fan it never turns back to zero it takes its own time and gone back to maximum speed maximum rpm revolution per minute from 1000 to 0 it takes time like like when i changing suddenly changing from maximum excess charge distribution into minimal so this requires this requires time so i would say a simple phonicless so no it is a minority drama what is that minority drama what is that i say excess charge but again here it is plus i say excess charge here it is minus what is plus in this n side minority carrier under forward bias or excess charge right what is this minority carrier present under excess charge 
okay so this is the drama driven by binary carrier or the junction itself need some time to make it relax okay so what actually done what actually we expecting when i change when i am changing when i am changing a forward bias to reverse bias voltage plus to minus v this this must be must be zero this must be zero what is that current the current must be zero in ideal case the current must be zero but see the practical case the current is not equal to it's a maximum right okay how this happened and why this happened because excess because excess charge distribution across the junction so it is a time it is time required by the region or it is a time required by the region to remove all excess charge when it becomes zero this is ideal case i'm talking about ideal case when it becomes zero this will become zero when all the excess charges are must be zero but see it is exponentially distributing and this has been nullified by zero mean i need a time or it is a time required to remove all the majority carrier all excess charge carrier all excess charge injected charge right not majority all excess charge got the point whereas come now listen this excess charge is removed by this passion right it takes time it takes time from t equal to this is 31 t2 t3 like that so it takes time to remove excess charge that is called storage time what is storage time what is storage time the storage time is this right at the junction so here it is plus minus minus plus minus plus so these are all the excess charge distribution at the maximum so it takes time to remove the excess charge right that is what here it says attendance of okay let me continue with the same uh, information 127 par nariye per transcription ar next class eduthukireengla pa odi ponavala letter kuttu poi kaala number theriyuma mama okay quick ah solla 127 nee solla na absent podruven okay va quick room number Three not one twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty thirty nine thirty nine Forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-six. Ah, but the quicker one, right? Da, the slow motion one, I have to convert it. Forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, six. C seven, C eight, C nine, C C one, C two, C three, C two, forty. C two, C three, forty. C four, C five, C six, C seven, C eight, C nine, C nine, C seventy, seventy one, seventy one, seventy two, forty. Seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Ninety, ninety, sixty-one. 
Okay, after this, 127, 129, 32, 35, 32, 33, 31 is your mark only. 31 percent. 35, okay. Now, what do you think? Absent. 32, 52, 53. That's the present. 61, 71. 71, 72, 77, Listen. Okay. You got the point? Yes. Last minute. Listen. This is fourth graph shows the change in voltage. And the second one shows the excess charge distribution. What is excess charge distribution? Pn minus PnO. What is Pn? Pn is the total charge across the junction. The total charge across the junction, so represents excess and thermally, right? Both. Right? So what has given 